Welcome to Social Influence Lesson 3. Ash's 1951 research into conformity in unambiguous situations. My name is Nick Redshaw and I have over 16 years experience of teaching A-level psychology. I'm also author of the highly successful independent learner series which can be bought on Amazon. So, Ash's 1951 research into conformity in an unambigu ambiguous situation. Ash's aim, Ash was interested in seeing whether a group can influence the behavior of an individual in a situation where the correct answer is clear or unambiguous. The procedure, the lab experiment, Participants comprised of a volunteer sample of 123 male American university students. Each participant was randomly allocated to one of two conditions, an experimental con condition with a confederate or the control condition with no confederate. The experimental con condition consisted of between six to eight confederates and one naive participant. Participants were shown a series of slides depicting four lines as shown opposite. In turn, they had to say out loud which one of the three lines, A, B, or C, was the same length as Exhibit 1. In the experimental condition, the Confederates were instructed to give the same wrong answer, and the naive participant was the last to offer their answer. The, the performance of participants in the experimental condition was compared to the performance of participants in the control condition. The results. As you can see from the graph, the findings of Ash's study showed that in approximately 30% of the time, the naive participant in the experimental condition gave the wrong answer, compared to 7% error rate in the control condition. From this, Ash concluded that the error rate in the experimental group was due to social influence. In your workbook, you should now complete the following tasks. If you're not using one of our workbooks, then on the piece of paper, have a go at one of these tasks. So firstly, Ash, in 1951, found that participants went along with the wrong answer. Explain this behavior in relation to the types and explanations of social influence covered in lessons two and lesson one. This is for four marks. You may want to pause the actual video at this point. Okay, so this is worth four AO2 marks. So on the AQA mark scheme, to get a level 2 top band of 3 to 4 marks, your knowledge of research into the types and explanations of social influence needs to be clear and mostly accurate. The material used is used appropriately to explain why the participant in Ash's study behaved the way they did. And your answer needs to be generally coherent with effective use of specialist terminology. Okay, so for four marks, it needs to sort of hit all of those criteria. So simply, hopefully your answer will be something like this. In order to not look stupid or be embarrassed, the naive participant looked to others in the group for information and guidance. This is known as informational social influence, with 37% giving the wrong answer. However, in the absence of the confederate, only 0.7% gave a wrong answer. Therefore, there was a clearly a right answer. As such, it is unlikely that in the absence of the six confederates, the naive participant would have still given the wrong answer. So initially, the naive participant has gone, up, gone along with the majority, but internalization has not taken place, as privately they still have doubts about the right answer. This type of social influence is known as compliance. Okay, quite a lot there, but obviously four marks. 
So the next question outlined two possible ethical issues that may have arisen in Ash's study and how these should have been dealt with for three marks. Okay, you may want to pause the video at this point. Okay then. So, the likelihood is this would be worth four marks. So, AO1, two marks. AO3, two marks. AO1, description. AO3, research methods or evaluation. So two marks for each ethical issue that is clear with a brief explanation or they can be dealt with in of explanation of how they can be dealt with in social influence research. So simply, Ash deceived. Deception is your first one. With his use of Confederate stooges and put them in stressful, embarrassing situations. Physiological measures indicated increased anxiety just before they gave their response. Therefore, he also failed to protect them from harm. Procedures designed to address ethical issues such as deception include the use of debriefing or retrospective consent and the levels of anxiety experienced by the participants was minimal. But procedures such as cost-benefit analysis should be used to determine if the levels were justified given the importance of the findings. Okay, so you may have said inf a lack of informed consent because of the deception. They didn't know fully what was going on. That would be also correct. Obviously in dealing with that you may want to sort of debrief them at the end and give them the right to withdraw. Okay, so finally, there are a number of reasons why participants gave for why they conformed to social influence in Ash's study. These included that their perception was distorted and that the majority's perception was more accurate. They did not want to be judged by the others in the group as being stupid. They acted in a way so as not to spoil the experiment and upset the experimenter. The final one there, if you've done research methods, is social desirability. Okay, that brings us to the end of this lesson. I will hopefully see you for lesson four.